Trust in you. 
There is healing in this heart.
I'm my healings in this house. My healings in this house. I'm my healings in this house. My healings in this house. I receive it now. And I receive it now. <laughs> My healing's in this house. My healing's in this house. And I receive it now. And I receive it now. Oh, Jesus. I waited long enough, I receive it now. And I receive it now. I've held on long enough, and I receive it now. And I receive it now. I already prayed, and it's already done. I've just come. And I receive it now. I've got an appointment with a miracle right here in this house tonight. And I receive it I did not come to be disappointed. He's never failed me. Come on, make a declaration of your faith, and I receive it now. Yes, I do. I don't need any help. I can't my feet up. of surrender thank you thank you Lord thank you oh come Holy Spirit 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 come right now come right now come right now come
swallow, the sore throat is gone. It's gone, just swallow, it's gone. Fever is breaking. Fever is breaking, sweat's breaking out on your forehead because the fever is breaking right now in his presence. The weakness is leaving and strength is being breathed into your body right now. Strength is being breathed into your body right now. Strength, I break the power of that fever. Loose your hold. Go now. By the power of God. Go now. Go now. Uh, that earache, that earache, that earache. Lord, we worship you. I thank you. I thank you that your desire is to heal and deliver your people. I thank you that healing is a children's bread. I pray that this night your arm would be revealed to all them that believe the report. Father, by an act of their faith, they have come. By an act of their faith, they got in their car. By an act of faith, they drove the distance. By an act of faith, they set their affections on things above. By an act of their faith, they walked in this building tonight. By an act of faith, they got themselves dressed and they made the journey here because they believed they were going to have a divine encounter with your miracle working power. Lord, we know that you're not only willing, but you're able and we thank you for it. And we declare unto you even in this moment, we are willing, we are willing to receive everything that was provided by Calvary's Crimson Street. We pray that we would eat all of it, that we would need leave nothing aside. I thank you for that tendon in that elbow that was just released in the name of Jesus. In fact, tendons all in your body, in your fingers and in your toes, there have been toes crossed one upon the other. They're being loosed right now, separated and strengthened in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for moving by your spirit already. I thank you. Lord, we're always amazed at how quick and how willing you are to move on behalf of your people. So come now, Holy Spirit. Come now, Holy Spirit, in all of your strength and in all and disease, pain and malady, malfunction, infirmity. Make them bow their knee to the majestic strength of your own power. Come, sing, church, sing. Holy Spirit, I need thee. Thank you, Jesus. 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 There's a, there's a nod or a growth, something on an elbow, some kind of a deposit on that elbow in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that it's dissolving even now. Calcium deposits all through your body. You have a calcium deposit in your body, even a fatty tumor in the name of Jesus. Ah, there's one in the neck. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, that... The power of that thing is broken, it looses its hold, it fades into eternity past. The light of your glory, the light of your grace, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I need somebody to thank him for coming. I need somebody to thank him for coming. There's already healing flowing in the choir. Already healing flowing in the choir. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put your mic down, Zula, and come stand before me. Oh, oh, it's not too late. It's not too late, saith the Lord. All things are possible to him that believeth. And I have decreed this night that I will do that which your heart desires. So let your rejoicing be in me and let your face stand steadfast. For your day is not over, your day is yet to come. And you stand in my presence with a miracle in your hand. 
and you worship me as the handmaidens of old, saith the Spirit of God. So receive this night that which belongeth to the children of Zion. Oh, come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Lift up your voice right now. Don't weary. Invite his presence. Come. A peptic ulcer. Oh, thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you for that. Somebody has been suffering in your stomach. Thank you, Lord, for that healing right now in that stomach. I thank you that every ulcer now is healed. The bleeding stops. The burning sensation is gone. In Jesus' name, I rebuke every ulcer. I thank you, Lord, that you've decreed it. I'm not saying it, but you have decreed it. You shall establish it. Thank you, Lord, that right now every stomach is being healed. Oh, there's one that's, that's oh, I understand that. That was supposed to become a cancer in your stomach. It was going to take your life. But even this night, the spirit of grace has fallen in this place. Even a few moments ago when the song talked about grace and mercy, grace and mercy, the Lord saw you. He heard your cry and he has healed your body. Thank you, Lord, that those stomachs are healed. Thank you that the lining of the stomach even now becomes even that of a 12-year-old child is being recreated on the inside. I worship you for it. I worship you. Oh, somebody worship him for it. I worship you for it. I worship you for it. I worship you for it. Where's David Mobley? Where's David? Is David Mobley here? Is David Mobley here saying, come here, David. Come here, David. Come, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, for this night I establish you before me, saith the Lord, for I have seen your faith, and I do decree upon you even this night a new anointing, an anointing to stand before my throne and believe for the healing and the deliverance of the children of God. Yea, even this night have I anointed your hands. Your hands will be an extension of your heart. Surrender to me, saith the Lord, and I'll flow through your hands, even if I have, as I have flowed through your heart. So receive of me this night and know that there are about to be some changes. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. Lift your hands and worship. Lift your hands and worship. There's a... Charlie, you have to help me. Jim, you can help me. Jim, where's Jim? No, in that row you were in, there's a gentleman with a shirt and a tie and a lady in a, I believe it's a gray outfit. Come, 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 come. Oh, I need somebody to worship. I, I don't know. I, am I the only one that senses his presence? Am I the only one? Come! I dare you to lift your head and shout, Come, Holy Spirit! We're in desperate need of you. We're in desperate need of you. We didn't come for a show. We didn't come for a performance. We came this night, oh God, to see you move. I don't know if you even want him to come. I don't know if you even want him to come. If he comes, your problem will vanish. When he comes in the majesty of his person, your problem will fade and it's somebody was just healed right in the front on this side of the riser section. I don't know what you're believing for, but you're healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. No, put your hands together. Give him an ovation. Let him know there's no one here but him. There's no one here but him. There's no one that we need but him. Nobody but Jesus. 
Nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus. Talk to me, Brother Canfield. This is Suzanne and Mike and Ellie. And they're here from Marysville. Suzanne is believing God for deliverance from the effects of abuse as a child. <laughs> Ellie is believing God for freedom from cancer. Now where, tell me once again, Brother Canfield, everyone right now praying in the Holy Spirit, if you don't pray in the Holy Spirit, then just say the name of Jesus. You can't, you cannot become a, a spectator. You just, you cannot become a spectator. Forces of darkness and sickness and abuse and bondage and pain are trying to keep their strangleholds and you must raise up a covering of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Every person is important. Every person is necessary. You must not allow your mind to wander. You must not allow your body to become tired. You must focus in on everything that is God and nothing that is not God. In fact, shout his name, Jehovah. Shout his name, Jehovah. Rafika. You are, you are the Lord our God. Now worship him, worship him, worship him. Thank you. Now. 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 Where is Zula? When you came into this room, your heart was heavy, singing. When you came into this room, when you came into this room, your heart was heavy. Now she's leaving here with a miracle tonight. I promise you that. Would you just worship the Lord for this lady's miracle? There's an anointing. There's an anointing. There's an anointing. I rebuke that cataract off your eyes. I rebuke that oh 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 arthritis. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Loose, 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 loose. I rebuke that infection in your kidneys and in your bladder. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke it. I rebuke it. I stand on the authority of the word of the Lord God. I rebuke that pain. I rebuke that heavy. There's a heaviness on your chest. You've been concerned about your heart. Even now that heaviness is lifting, lifting. It's lit. Oh, worship him, church. You gotta worship. You have to worship. You have to worship. Oh, thank you, Lord, for lifting that. I don't know. I'm just gonna say it the way the Holy Spirit said. There are warts. There are warts on your body. Little, even little skin tags on your body. They're disappearing. They're dead. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every not growth and life. Manifest it. Peace to calm. Troubled hearts. Troubled hearts What's her name? Suzanne. Suzanne, Suzanne, you came all the way from Marysville? Yes? You suffered abuse. I, I heard you. Yeah, if you're wondering why these people are walking up here, they're, they're walking up here because they've been here before. When Jesus was passing through the crowd and the woman with an issue of blood who'd been to every doctor she knew and spent everything that she had and only grew worse, she pressed through the crowd content to touch the hem of his garment, the anointing. Ah, would you thank him for the anointing? It's not what I say, it's the anointing under which I say it. It's not where you are, it's the anointing that's on the place. She reached through, content to just take her healing and leave. But Jesus turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched me? He 
he refuses to give you a miracle in secret. I said he refuses to give you a miracle in secret. So as he's touched your body tonight, it doesn't have to be something that I've called out. That's just the icing on the cake. His healing power's all over this building. It was already here when you walked through the doors. We, we prayed it here. You stepped into it. Some of you have been healed and delivered, and you don't, you've been delivered from years of depression, and you, you haven't even realized it yet until I just said it. But right now, you're beginning to think, wait a, wait a minute, where's that cloudiness in my mind? Where's that fear that a oh, panic attacks have just been attacked? That's what the Holy Spirit said you will never have another panic attack as long as you live it is destroyed under the anointing and so as the Holy Spirit touches you don't hesitate get down here I want somebody oh if God's touched you get down here get down here so that we can tell somebody else what's happened now wait a minute now wait a minute when I walked into this room people don't understand me you know they want to chit chat before a service and just if it were possible just drive me crazy I don't want to listen to your chit chatting my spirit is so in tune with the Holy Spirit I walked in this room and when I walked in this room, my spirit went shoo. And here's what I heard the Holy Spirit say. Walking right up this aisle right here, I heard the Holy Spirit say, her years of bondage have just been broken. I heard him say it. I heard him say it, would somebody worship him? Would somebody worship him? Would somebody lift up a praise? Would somebody thank him? Would somebody thank him? It's over. It's over. It's over. Suzanne, step out this way, honey. Step all on your own, because you're not going to need any crutches anymore. You're not going to need any support system anymore. For even the Lord your God shall gird you from underneath, and even his Holy Spirit shall hover above you, and he shall place a new heart within you, even this night a heart of flesh, that heart that was hurt, that heart that was broken, that heart that was abused is coming out of you even now. And the Spirit of the Lord is placing within you a newly created heart. He's wiping away the darkness from your mind. He's restoring, oh, I heard the Lord say, He's restoring the years that the locusts have eaten. He's given you back everything that was taken from you and you're never going to suffer the effects of it anymore throw your hands up in the air Suzanne for you have been delivered even this night oh God there it is there it is come here come here honey come here honey did you don't touch me <laughs> did you come with this lady did you my, come with she's my daughter -in -law. Suzanne is your daughter-in-law while I had cancer treatment She's been caring for you while you have cancer treatment. I have never heard this in a healing and deliverance service, a miracle service since we started them. I have heard it at other points in my ministry, but I've never heard it in one of these services. God spoke to me very plainly tonight and said, I have come to conquer cancer. This is your night for a miracle. This is your night. I rebuke every cancer cell out of your body. That's a word. Can you grab a hold of that word? Can you make that word your word? In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I rebuke the cancer out of your body. I command it to come out of you. And to, there it is. There it is. Would you worship him? I don't know. We need a shout right now. We need a shout. We need a shout right now. We need, oh no, we need a belly shout right now. I dare you to open up your mouth. In fact, stomp your foot and say we rebuke cancer. We rebuke cancer. Join hands with the person next to you right now. Right now, right now. There's an anointing. Do it, do it. Get across there. Do it, do it, do it. Join hands, join hands, join hands. In the spirit of agreement, we come against cancer.
cancer and leukemia. We rebuke it. We command it to come out of these bodies. We thank you. Oh, there, 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 there. Stay like you are. Stay like you are. That healing anointing is moving through you. I've never, I've never experienced this before. That healing anointing is moving through you right now. It's taking sickness and disease from the bodies of people. It's multiplying from heart to heart and faith to faith and person to person. It's multiplying. It's culminating. It's going to climax in a great crescendo. There, there. the one that did it. Praise him. Praise him like you've never praised him. Praise him like you have never praised him. Check your body. Check your back. Check your nasal passages. Check your eyes. Ears. 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 There's been like a pressure lock in your ears. It's gone. It's gone. Oh my God. Shout it's gone. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Je oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I need a song, and I need people all over this building to check your body. It's an amazing thing. God heals people all over the place. They don't even realize it. They don't even realize it. I said they don't even realize it. I said they don't even realize it. I said that there's another here. I'm telling you, it won't stop tonight. There's another wave right there. There's another wave of God's healing power. There's another wave of God's healing power. Sugar diabetes, I rebuke you. The Holy Spirit just telling me you can't even call it out. He, he's doing so much. There's been something wrong with the cheek and the jaw. In the name of Jesus, that's healed. That's healed. There's been a swelling in the gums. That's healed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke all the swelling in your body. I rebuke every rash upon your skin, including your scalp. In the name of Jesus. Just as I turned, the Holy Spirit said that thyroid condition has just been touched and healed. Oh, 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 don't stop now, don't stop now, don't stop now, don't stop now. I said don't stop now. These meetings are not about me, they're about you. They're about us. They're about one can chase a thousand, but two can put 10,000 to flight. They're about we've had enough. It's time to stand up and declare we are the children of God and healing is our bread. My God, I wanna sing a song. I wanna sing a song. I wanna sing a song. And while we sing that song, oh God, 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 I rebuke that neurological disorder. I've touched. Reach. Just touch yourself. I dare you to check your body. I dare you to try to find that lump. I dare you to try to find that lump. Some of you, you're so cute, you just stand there. God's gonna get you. God's gonna get you. God's gonna get you. Come on, come on. Come on, tell me. And his blood. Just touch your neighbor. Touch your neighbor and tell him what I've been standing here. He made me whole. What I've been standing here. He made me whole. What I've been standing here. That nervous stomach just got healed. Oh God. Oh God. 
Oh, God. Shout! And his blood. Just say these words. Lord Jesus, we worship you. We give you all the glory. You're a wonderful Savior, a merciful Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I dare you to thank him three times and receive his power. The Holy Ghost is here. There's a special anointing. I don't know where your child is. I don't know where your child is, but God is hearing the faith tonight of those believing for their children. I'm telling you, I don't know where they are. Somebody's going to get a letter. Somebody's going to get a phone call. Somebody, come here, come here, Brother Murphy. You and your wife come here right now. Come here right now. Stand right there. Stand right there. Come here right now. Come here, Joni. Come here. 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 Come here, come here, come here. The word of the Lord that you have sown into the heart of those children will not return void. There's about to be a tremendous change in the spiritual demeanor of your children. God is going to do it, and he's going to do it. You're not going to have to do anything. Oh, you, you've all, oh, I heard the Lord say, you've already done what you need to do. You've called on my name, and that's enough. And I have done it, says the Lord of glory. There's victory all over this house. There is victory all over this house. I said there's victory all over this house. Shout, shout, shout. Here's blood. Kelly, tell me what's happening. After Mississippi, and she had a chief in passing blood. <laughs> and when you spoke that, she felt a heat come over her, and she believes the power of God's touched her body. Come here, Cynthia. Sibylia. Cynthia. Is that right? Sibylia. Sibylia. Whatever. <laughs> One time I was in a service with a great man of God. And he called me up to lay hands on people. And I laid hands on people. One lady's jaw had been deformed way up on the side of her head, like this, twisted. Her mouth was way up here. And like you'd break a stick, it cracked and it moved down into place. And he kept calling me Rob. Come here, Rob. Lay hands on these people. Finally, somebody passed him a note, said his name is Rod, not Rob. And that great man of God said, I don't care what his name is. I don't need his name. I just want his hands. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at your hands. Look at your hands, you mighty man and woman of God. Do you understand that the healing power of Jehovah God is in your hands right now? Bring me that blonde lady right there, right there. Bring me that blonde lady right there, right there. Hurry, hurry. Come up here. Come up here. Come up here. 
What's your name, honey? Huh? Lindsay. Lindsay. Where are you from? Solid Rock. You're from Solid Rock? Yes, sir. Well, there's a call of God on your life. I don't know if you know that. You do know that. And God's called you to preparation, but you kind of resisted it. But he just wanted to tell you tonight that your resistance is over. Because like Saul of Tarsus, he's knocking you off your horse. Try to get her name right again. Sibylle. Sibylle. Did I do it right? It's hard for a Kentucky boy, you know. Sibylle. Everybody shout, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No, see, you've already forgotten. You're standing there like nice little toy soldiers. Nobody's praying. Everybody, this is not TV. You're not watching TV. You're participating in a miracle. Touch your neighbor and say, get up. Somebody's miracle depends on it. Get up. Get up! Get up! I was passing by in Pickerington on the way here tonight what used to be Simon's Pharmacy. It's right on the corner. And I was stopped at the traffic light there and the Holy Spirit said to me, I will stop the issue. If you're bleeding right now unnaturally in your body, lay your hands on your body and say this, stop! stop. Oh, that was weak. Everybody help them. You say, well, aren't we going to pray? Why would we pray? Why would we pray? Jesus didn't say pray. Jesus said rebuke the thing. Everybody in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every discharge from your body that is unnatural. I rebuke every infection. I rebuke yes. every bloody issue yes. in the name of Jesus. I command it, stop. Now shout, stop. 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 How long have you been in that condition? How long? A couple months ago, I started bleeding every time I'd use the bathroom, and then it stopped. And then I came here, started Bible college, and just maybe three days ago, it started again. It started again when you came to Bible college. Well, of course it did. Do you think the devil is happy that you came to Bible college? So the, so the devil said, well, I'll just stop that. But he forgot about tonight. He's funny that way. He forgets that when people of faith stand together, we refuse to allow that thing to continue. Now, I'm gonna, now, now, hold her, hold her, hold her, hold her, hold her. Hold her, because I'm going to tell her something she doesn't know. Hold her. There's a spirit that's tried to attach itself to your life, honey. A demon spirit. It's been there for at least 12 years attacking your life. A door was open. I'm not going to tell you how the door was open, but the door was open. And tonight, that thing's been identified. It'll never torment you again. I better hear some shouting up in here right now. Shout that thing out of here. I said, shout that thing out of here. Shout that thing out of here. Shout it out. Shout it. Lay your hands on your belly. I rebuke every tormenting spirit. 
every spirit of sleeplessness, every spirit of wantonness, every spirit of sexual perversion, every homosexual spirit, every lesbian spirit, every spirit of promiscuity. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. I rebuke a spirit of fear that's attached itself to your body. I rebuke it. I rebuke it. I command it in the name of Jesus. Come out! Now shout! Say, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. What? This is Marcia, Pastor. She had a tumor in her breast about the size of a golf ball. When you called that thing out, it left. It's gone. No, you're not rejoicing. You're supposed to be given in glory. You're supposed to. No, no, take 30 seconds and give him glory. Take 30 seconds and give him glory. seconds and thank him that this tumor is gone. Gone. No surgery, no scalpel, no radiation, no chemotherapy, just an anointing of the Holy Spirit that destroys every old. Oh, give him a shout of praise. Thank you. Thank you. What is your name? Hallelujah. Your name's not Hallelujah. Did you see that, Charlie? Did you see that? I said, what's your name? She said, hallelujah. Marcia, Marcia. Marcia? <laughs> yep. Where was the, where was, right in, in your right breast? Yes, and um, uh, they wanted me to go uh, almost three weeks ago. When I called, they started asking me about how am I going to pay insurance. I didn't have no insurance. So then they figured out they do it for free. I go Tuesday. And, but and what for free? The, the uh, mammograms and all that stuff, and then because it was the size of a golf ball. And I, and I just. It was the size of a golf ball. Yeah, it was the size of a golf ball. And then the doctor got upset with me because I didn't go two weeks ago. But when they start asking me how I was going to pay, I couldn't pay. So what's the point in going, you know? And and then, and so then they arranged to do it for free on Tuesday, but it's, it's gone. This coming it's gone, Tuesday, gone. Yes, they're supposed yes, to take it for free? Yes, for free. Did you get yes. it for free tonight? Yes. yes. just spoke to me the Holy Spirit just spoke to me and said just just as plainly as I'm talking to you the Holy Spirit said there are some gross and tumors and knots trying to stay I like how he said trying I said trying Trying. Try as you will, try as you want. You cannot stand up to the anointing of God.
for right now the spirit of the Lord according to Psalm 92 he is anointing you he's exalting your horn like that of the wild ox and he is baptizing you in a fresh anointing you are healed Lord I give you glory I give you glory I stand right here and I thank you that moments ago there was a tumor the size of a golf ball and at this moment it is gone it is eradicated it has disappeared and it will never return Brother Canfield, what's going on? Here we go, folks. What's going on? Pastor Parsley, this is Judy. She's from Milford, Ohio. And Where's that? East of Cincinnati. East of Cincinnati. So that's two hours away from here. And when she came in, she had pain all through her body. Pain. She thought she was going to receive a healing in her hip, but she said when you called out calcium deposits and tendons and yeah. those kinds of things, the healing power of God flowed clear through her body and she said, he didn't just heal my hip, he healed me all over. Who are you giving glory? Who are you giving glory? Lord Jesus, we worship you. We worship you. Oh, Jesus. Get her up, 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 get her up. Move your hip, honey. Move your hip. Is there any... I can't even do that and I'm well. Could you do that before? No, no. No. Well, I did. You were in hurt. great pain before. Yeah. Do you have any pain now? No. You don't have any pain no, now? No, it's all. What are you people playing Bella Lugosi for and this woman trying to do the hallelujah hoochie coo? What's the matter with you? I said, what's the matter with you? Somebody give this lady some music to praise with. Shout, he's a healing Jesus. He's a healing Jesus. He's a healing Jesus. Brother Kelly? Pastor, this is Barbara Ford. I know Barbara. And she was having some heart problems and heart pains, and she's been on nitroglycerin, but when you called that out, all the pains left. You've been on nitroglycerin tablets? Yes, sir. You have? Yes, sir. I've been eating them like candy. What now? I, I, I Nitro boost? Never mind. Yes. What? This is Debbie. Hi, Debbie. And her sister has breast cancer. You said tonight That's right. God was here to conquer cancer. cancer. Lay your hands right here. Put this in there. You're a doctor? What kind of doctor? An ear, nose, and throat doctor. Ear, nose, and throat doctor. Wonderful. And your sister has breast cancer. Has breast cancer. Now, where are you from? I'm, I live in Mansfield. You live in Mansfield. Father, you said that special miracles were wrought by the hands of Paul, that in so much that handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from his body. When they were laid upon the sick, the evil spirits departed, the diseases were healed. We believe you're the same Jesus today. Thank you that the anointing is tangible. Thank you that the anointing is transferable. We believe you to conquer cancer in this young woman's body. In the name of Jesus, receive him. There. Oh, Jesus, I love you. What's happening, Brother Kelly? Pastor, this is Harmony. Hi, and when Harmony. you called out Ward, she had a war here the size of a pea, and it completely disappeared. Is this her mommy? She, said she folded her hands, and she prayed when you said Ward. And she prayed, and she looked down, and it was gone. How long has that Ward been there? Uh, at least a year. We've tried different things. And You've tried, tried all kinds of things to get yeah, it off? Yeah, yep. And it was the size of a pea? It was like the size of like... Um, yeah, like a small pea. In, in the middle of her hand? Right there. You can, still, you can see the redness where it was. It's just red there now. Well, you sure can. Yeah. I wish you could see this. I wish you could see this. 
Come here, Wendell. Can you get this, Wendell? Tell Wendell you're glad he's here. He's one of the greatest camera operators in America. I don't know if you can see it or not, Wendell. Can you see that little red right there? Can you see it? Can you see it on the screen? There was a wart there moments ago the size of a pea. It's gone. Now listen to me. I'll tell you, when I, the Holy Spirit just wrecks me when I'm getting ready for these services. Be, because he said to me, there will be critics arise who will say, well, that's a small thing. And you, the Holy Spirit sometimes is funny. He has a personality, you know. And he said, when they ask you about that, ask them how come they can't cure the cold. No problem is a small problem. You know, there are things that you'll put up with that the Holy Spirit won't put up with. Jesus walked into a service just like this and there was a man with a withered hand. He was perfectly content to live with that withered hand. But Jesus said, come here, stretch that thing out. Ask him to do what he could not do. And when he did what he could not do, God gave him a miracle he wasn't even believing for. Would you lift your hands just a moment and worship him? Let's find out some of these things that are going on. Just, just give the Lord a great hallelujah for what he's already done. And let's hear some of the wonderful testimonies. Brother Canfield? This is Amber, Pastor. Hi, Amber. She's from Michigan. She's a Bible college student. You said warts are disappearing. I did. She has warts on the bottom of her feet, and she can feel them going down already. They're disappearing. They're disappearing. Where's that little girl? Where's that little girl? Give me that little girl, quickly, and her mother. Bring me that little girl and her mother. Hey, hey, turn her around. Turn her around. Oh my God, look at the Holy Ghost. Lord, put a new heart in her. Put a new heart in her. Put a new heart in her, in G Jesus' name. Come here, honey. Come here. See this wonderful lady over here? with the red dress, with the red blouse and the butt. Can you see her? Well, she had warts on her feet and she wants you to pray for her. Would you just lay your hand on her forehead? Would you just, in the name of, honey, you better get ready. No, no, this ain't no little dab will do you. you are you ready? Oh yeah, I thought so. I thought so. I thought so. I thought so. Take both your hands, honey, and touch the sides of her head. Do it. In the name of Jesus. Now tell those warts to get out of her body. Go. Go. What's happened? Pastor, this woman here had two knots on her that was bringing poison down into her ears. And when my children get sick, my children don't come in. Daddy, call the doctor. My children come in. They wake me up in the middle of the night. Daddy, put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. Ask them to come in every night. Daddy, I'm not going to sleep. Do you put your hands on me? Put your hands on me and believe God for me teach your children the word of the Lord what anyway Angela here had two big bumps on her hair and it was bringing affection down through her ears and stuff and when you called that out it where just were the left. bumps where were they bumps right I had two, um, pimples up, right up in there two pimples right here that caused affection it caused two that lumps caused right? infection down in here uh-huh and I had two lumps now the lumps are gone and you had two lumps on the side of your face mm -hmm. and there are no lumps there now are there no. they're completely gone aren't they're they gone. and do you know what you've been believing God for a financial breakthrough and the Holy Spirit just told me don't worry about it just praise him about it because he's already got the whole thing taken care of it's already done in Jesus name what's happening hey here's my wife come here wife This is my wife, Joni, and Joni and I are going to be in this pulpit together this coming Wednesday night and the next Wednesday night. We're going to be answering any questions you want to ask and ministering to you from the Word of God, so don't you miss Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. Are these your friends? Brother Canfield, what's going on? This is Laura and Hi, Laura. Yancey. Hi, Yancey. They're from Indiana, and this is a young man from our church that invited them to come. Wonderful. She's known about a lump in her breast for about six months now. I see. And she's here 
believing God that God will conquer cancer in her body. Oh, I believe that. Just like so many others have received. Of course, it. I believe that. I believe that. Supposed to start. Don't whisper to me. Talk to She's me. She's supposed to start chemotherapy tomorrow. She's supposed to start chemotherapy tomorrow. Well, won't they be surprised? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, you conquer cancer, and I thank you for doing it. There's a stronghold of fear, and I rebuke it now. I command it to loose its hold on this woman. She sees herself whole and delivered by the power of God and living testimony that God is great and his mercy endures forever. So I stand right here, Lord, and I call you by your name, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our God that heals us. You promised us if we would believe your report, your right arm would be revealed. I thank you for destroying cancer. I thank you that that lump and tumor comes out of her body. In there. What's happening? What's happening? Pastor, this is Denise. She had 12 bleeding ulcers. And when you called that thing out, she no longer could taste the blood or anything. You had 12 bleeding ulcers. Yes, sir. And you could taste the, the blood, blood in your mouth. mouth. Yes. How long has that been going 12 on? 12 years. For 12 years. Yes. For 12 years. 12 years. And the bloody taste is gone from your Lord. mouth. Do you have any pain in your no. stomach at all? Man. You know you're healed, I'm don't healed. you? Let's give the Lord glory tonight. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Well, it can't feel. This is Linda. She's from Columbus. And a few weeks ago, she noticed that she had a skin tag under her arm. I see. You called that out tonight. She checked it. It is totally gone. It disappeared. You see, you're like, oh, well. See, you get bored with miracles. I said, you get bored with miracles. Everybody sit down. Everybody sit down. Everybody be seated. Not you. You stay here. Everybody be seated. Okay, now rest your body a minute. Rest your body a minute. Are you all right? Bless your heart. You okay? Is everything all right? Somebody said, well, I don't know how he can do that. It seems like it breaks the flow of the Spirit. Let me tell you something. If the Holy Spirit can drive cancer out of these bodies and make tumors disappear and do the things that he's doing, it, he, he's not going to disappear because you sat down for a minute. So just, just relax a minute because he's going to be God when you stand up again, just like he was God when you sat down. Come here. Come here. Come here. I haven't seen you for so long. Come here. Come here. I saw you preaching the other night on television. I said, bless her, Lord. Just bless her. Bless her. Let her preach and let her pray and let her prophesy. Thank God for women that will stand up with the word of God. Thank God for it. And I call increase into your ministry in Jesus' name. Everybody just, everybody just, everybody just stand here a minute. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Everybody just, just relax. What are you standing up for? Did I say stand up? I don't know. I'm under the Holy Ghost. I don't know half what I'm saying. Hallelujah. 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 As your faith is, so be it unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you for your healing power. I thank you for your... Ah! Heal... Ah! for your healing power I thank you for your healing power in Jesus name I thank you for your healing power in Jesus name I thank you. oh I thank you for your healing power in Jesus name I thank you 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 I thank you, Jesus. If you're going to sing, don't play at it. Sing. You believe that? Love. 
loves and adores. His name is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord. Do you love him? Do you love him? You've had enough rest. Get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Lift your hands. Lift your hands because Jesus wants to heal more people right now than he's already healed all night. In the name of Jesus, I loose the anointing for deliverance into your life. I loose the anointing for healing and for restoration that God will put your family back together in Jesus. I believe for your spouse to be born again right now and your children to know the Lord. In Jesus' name, Brother Kelly, what's going on? Pastor, this is Jessica. Hi, Jessica. A couple years ago, she had a stepfather who um, took away her virginity. She's been hurting, depressed, angry, and you called that thing out tonight, and she's just felt a peace come upon her and a total deliverance tonight. to do something for her but it's already done and she's just what I can't stop laughing you can't stop laughing Mr. Parsley, this is Angela. She's from Columbus. Her grandmother died of cancer. Her mother died of cancer. Six weeks ago, she found a lump under her arm, the same place her grandmother did. But tonight, during the service, it totally disappeared. Say, I'll live and not die. I'll live and not die. I'll live and not die. I'll live and not and die. And glorify the Lord. And glorify the Lord. Forever. I pray in fathomless. Everybody sing that together. Peace, peace. Father, thank you for every miracle. Thank you for every deliverance. Thank you for every healing. Thank you for every manifestation of your spirit. Thank you that the forces of darkness have been put away. Thank you that the glory of the gospel has shined brightly in this house tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can let them return to their seats. Let's glorify the Lord together. See one prayer. Hello, sir.
this precious gentleman came all the way from Dayton seeking a touch from God. Would you stretch your hands this way? Would you stretch your hands this way? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your healing power. We worship you and bless you and give you the honor and the glory for what you'll do for this man tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you. Sing peace. Wait a minute, wait a minute, everybody sit down so you can see a miracle. Everybody sit down so you can see a miracle. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you glory. Tell me. Father, this, uh, Pastor. Pastor, I'm Thank sorry. You. This is. Bless you, my son. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is Nicole. Listen, Nicole, listen. Nicole was in an automobile accident in December, and from that time until now, she hasn't walked. And she's walking tonight. Walk up those stairs, honey. Walk up those stairs. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Walk up those stairs. Walk. Walk. stop sign. Lady ran a stop sign and hit you. I hit her, but... You hit her because she came through a stop right. sign. And you... I just want to know, I, I was, how do you feel? So, so good. I was walking with a cane. I've been to the doctor. They didn't know what was wrong. I, I had problems in my back and my neck. I've fallen down the steps some days. I got out of bed and I would just fall. And I was like, I can't be like this. I told my mom, I said, I know God didn't make us be like this and I can't Is be like this. Here? No, sir, she, she has multiple sclerosis. She's at home. She wasn't feeling well. Your mom has multiple sclerosis? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for healing that mama. I thank you for healing that mama. 
in Jesus' name. Lord, we give you glory that this young girl who hasn't walked in four months is walking under the power of the Holy Spirit. Somebody give him one more hallelujah. I want you to be seated. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. I don't want anyone moving right now, and I want everyone listening. Turn your Bibles, if you have a Bible, to Genesis chapter 31, verse 14. 